New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Philippines, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, Thailand. Welcome. Praise the Lord. Any Asia country, any Asia Pacific country, I love out. 我漏掉什么国家的吗？我也没有漏掉哪一个国家。You need to be stirred up this evening. 今天晚上你需要被搅和。I think what is most important is this. 最重要的是这个。After this Congress is over, after all is heard and said, and after we say Sayonara, meaning goodbye, Asia Pacific Baptist Christian, let's go back and shake out, up, shake up our respective nation. 这个大会过后，我们讲完再见以后，每一个在座的每一位基督徒应该回去你的国家，眺望你的国家。Asia Pacific Baptist Christian, let's go back and be crazy for Jesus Christ. 亚洲太平洋的每一位基督徒，尽心为基督徒，要回家疯狂的侍奉我们的主耶稣。And we can do that if we ourselves are not stirred. In this Congress, you cannot do this, unless you yourself are stirred up in this Congress. The real problem here is this: to want to really, really want to do it with the help of the Holy Spirit. But if you really want to be stirred up, you cannot do it with the help of the Holy Spirit. Do we really, 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 really want to be stirred up? Do we really, really, really want to be stirred up? Do we really, 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 really want to be stirred up? Do we really, 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 really want to be stirred up? Like the theme song we have been singing every day. 好像我们每天所唱的主题歌一样样。To be restored. 我们要神再一次的复兴我们。To be renewed. 再一次的创新。To be light to the world. 创再一次的成为世界的光。To be light in the darkness. 再一次的成为黑暗中的光。To be revived in the hearts. 在我们心里面再一次的得到复兴。You see, there is a problem. 但是有个问题。It is a problem of motivation. 最重要是我们的举动力，我们的推动是什么 ？Don't you think so? 你想的对不对 ？The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. 我们的灵是希望要得到渴望，但是我们的肉体软弱。Even after we have discovered and heard from all these wonderful speakers from the workshop and the interest group. How and what it really is that God wants us to do to stir up, but that problem can still remain. But although we have heard so many speakers, so many good speakers, help us, but the problem is that we still have a desire to be stirred up. I can know a great deal about the Christian life. I can know the true purpose of my life is to follow Jesus and to please God. I can tell you that God desires my worship. I know that God desires my worship. To continually trust Him and to walk with God. I know. I know. And yet confronted by the lure of the flesh, the pleasure of sin, and the temptation of the world, I can deliberately choose to disobey God. I've done it many times. And I'm sure you have done that too. The application that I would like to make is that a person may have heard the word of God many times, know the will of God, and attend many congresses and conferences, but if he or she doesn't apply it, it will not profit him or her anything. You can walk out of this beautiful country, this beautiful hotel. You can leave 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 this
and go back to your country rejoicing over the word, getting excited about the word, and even being thrilled about the word. You may even give mental assent to it, saying the workshop was great. The teachers, the speakers, they were great. I believe that this preacher preached, Amen, Hallelujah. But if you do not apply it, you make Satan's work very easy. There was a story of a Christian who dreamt that he met Satan himself. Satan was sitting on a rocking chair, rocking away. He was holding a glass of orange juice and a newspaper. He was enjoying himself, taking life easy and smiling as he read the newspaper. So this Christian gathered up the courage to ask him. Satan, why are you so relaxed? Why are you so happy? I thought you're supposed to be roaming through the earth and going back and forth looking for someone to devour. Why are you so happy and relaxed? And Satan with an evil broad smile looked at the Christian and pointed to the page in the newspaper. Look here, he said. A group of Christians came back from Chiang Mai after attending the 7th Asia Pacific Congress and now they are suing their pastor in the churches. I have no art in that. Then he puts out the newspaper and pick up another newspaper. Another church is being investigated by the government on complaints that it has reduced church funds. I also have no part in that. There is still another. There was this Baptist church where in their membership meeting they quarrel and argue for over two and a half hours on what way to buy for the church. It was so interesting. You, you should have been there to see. The people walk out of the church with great faces full of bitterness and anger. I have no part in that. And here is still another. Currently in the Asian Pacific Baptist Congress in Kuala Lumpur, some of the people have not paid up yet. <laughs> That's why we only have USD 38,000 for you. Because we need to go after these people. And you know who you are. And you better pay the bill. Otherwise, we're going to send our new president to come with you with a new boomerang. And Satan said, I have no part in that. Satan said, Hey, that's not what I got. I have no fun. So why should I worry and, and why should I work so hard? The Christians themselves are fighting and quarreling among themselves. Some of them have been 
是保罗所